Now in this lesson we're going to talk about composite functions. So let's say that f of x is equal to 3x minus 4 and that g of x let's say it's equal to x squared minus 3. What is f of g? Notice that this is different from f times g. If you see a closed circle, it's multiplication. It's 3x minus 4 times x squared minus 3. But if you see like an open circle, what it means is it's a composite function. One function is inside of another. g is inside of f, so this is equivalent to f of g of x. So how can we find f of g of x? Well, let's replace g. g is x squared minus 3. And notice that x squared minus 3 is inside of f. So we're going to have to replace x with x squared minus 3. So this is going to be 3 times x squared minus 3 minus 4. So now let's distribute the 3. So that's 3x squared minus 9 minus 4, which is 3x squared minus 13. Now what about g of f? How can we find the value of g of f? So this time, f is inside of g. So you can write it like this. That's an equivalent expression. And let's replace f of x with 3x minus 4. And now, Let's replace uh, x with 3x minus 4. So we're going to take this and plug it into here. So instead of x squared minus 3, it's 3x minus 4 squared minus 3. 3x minus 4 squared is 3x minus 4 times 3x minus 4. So if we FOIL it, 3x times 3x, that's going to be 9x squared, and then 3x times negative 4, that's negative 12x. Negative 4 times 3x is also negative 12x, and then negative 4 times negative 4 is 16. Negative 12 minus 12 is negative 24. 16 minus 3 is 13. So this is the value of g of f of x. Now, let's say that f of x, let's say it's 5x plus 2. And now let's say that g of x is equal to x cubed minus 4. Evaluate this function, f of g of 2. How can we do so? So first, let's find the value of g of 2. So let's replace x with 2. This is going to be 2 raised to the third power minus 4. 2 times 2 times 2 3 times is 8. 8 minus 4 is 4. So g of 2 is 4. So f of g of 2 is equivalent to f of 4. And now we can take 4 and plug it into that equation. So it's 5 times 4 plus 2. 5 times 4 is 20, 20 plus 2 is 22. So that's how you can find the value of f of g of 2. So try this one. Evaluate g of f, let's say, negative 1. So first, evaluate f of negative 1. That's 5 times negative 1 plus 2. So make sure you're using this equation. That's negative 5 plus 2, which is negative 3. So f of negative 1, we can replace it with negative 3. So now we're looking for g of negative 3, which we can plug it into here. So it's negative 3 to the third power minus 4, which is negative 27 minus 4. And so the final answer is negative 31. So that's how you can evaluate composite functions.